Mr. Forey, thank you very much indeed for taking the time to join us here on Bloomberg this morning. You have spent the last year reviewing the commercial aircraft operations at Airbus. Was it your decision to cut the 380 program? Uh, the 380, as you said before, is a fantastic airplane. Unfortunately, we are in a situation where the uh, orders, that the backlog we have, uh, is not able to sustain the production beyond 2021 with a decision that was made by Emirates to reduce its uh, order, still with the ambition to have 123 uh, A380s flying under the uh, flagship of, of Emirates. So uh, we have to come to looking at the facts as they are, and there is not enough production to uh, sustain the program beyond 2021. The A380 uh, program continues, will be in the support phase and will continue to support our customers who fly this fantastic uh, airplane which is uh, the, the preferred airplane for passengers. It's, as you said, it's a very silent airplane, it's uh, very stable in the air and uh, unfortunately we have to look at things as they are and uh, looking forward with the large twins, uh, that is the future. As incoming CEO, are you relieved that the decision has been made? Uh, I've been in the uh, commercial uh, business of uh, Airbus in the last 12 months with uh, Tom Enders, who is our current CEO, and we've been looking at the situation together. Um, shoulder to shoulder, we try to find solution for this uh, A380 situation and now uh, the um, future is clear. We will run down, we will wind down the, uh, the program. Uh, but at the same time, as you have seen, Emirates has renewed its trust in the uh, Airbus uh, products with the A330neo and the A350. So this is the life of programs. The A380 will go down, but uh, this is going with a ramp up of other products and we are looking into the future with a very positive uh, mindset uh, for these two products and especially the A350 which is a modern product. Uh, we've ramped up the production last year and it's a very successful product. With hindsight, Mr. Forey, was Boeing right to focus on point-to-point -point rather than focusing on the super hubs which Airbus decided to do with hindsight? I think uh, Point-to-point point is growing. This is um, indeed the way this uh, business is uh, developing itself. Uh, Airbus is also um, having strong products and the 350, as I said before, is the most modern one in, in this field. So we think uh, we are well placed uh, to compete with uh, Boeing with uh, our new products. And as you have seen, Emirates has selected both the 330neo and the 350 for their fleet moving forward, which we believe is a very strong endorsement of those new technologies and the competitiveness of those products. Um, you are going to be becoming CEO at the beginning of April. A few days before that, the UK is theoretically going to leave the EU. Are you increasingly of the view that the first big decisions you're going to have to make as CEO will be to deal with a hard Brexit? We don't know what uh, Brexit will look like and the worst case scenario for us is indeed a no deal Brexit or a hard Brexit. So we are preparing for the worst. Uh, we have uh, worked with our suppliers to uh, build uh, I mean inventories and stocks, buffers to be able to sustain friction at the border for a couple of weeks. But obviously we hope for the best and we believe that uh, common sense will prevail. And this is at least what we've said very clearly recently that a hard Brexit would be really a disaster for, for Europe, for the UK and for Airbus and we think this has to be avoided by all means. How would you respond to a hard Brexit? How would you, Guillaume Forey, respond to a hard Brexit? What is your plan? Well, it's all in the uh, preparation for this kind of events. Um, obviously, as I said, we have worked with our suppliers, with our supply chain to be prepared as good as we can. And we think we can weather a, a crisis uh, in case of uh, no deal Brexit for a couple of weeks. Uh, beyond a month, uh, we will have to look for 
uh, ways to react to a crisis that is going to be probably much bigger than Airbus, and uh, we are preparing this as well. Um, it is expected, Mr. Forey, that later on this year, uh, Boeing will launch its uh, NMA program, uh, its new uh, middle-sized aircraft. How would you respond to that? Do you have a plan to respond to that if Boeing were to make that decision? Uh, we think the uh, potential launch of the NMA, which has been announced now for a couple of years in a row and has not happened yet, is the need for Boeing to respond to our very competitive product range with the 321 single aisle uh, going long distances and the new A330neo. So we are not in the position to have to respond to uh, the response which has not yet been uh, revealed. So we are a bit in the wait and, and see mode. And, um, we wish uh, good luck uh, to our competitors for what they have to do. On our side, we continue to improve, to upgrade uh, our products. And uh, we have last year delivered the first A321 long range, which is going into this middle of the market and which is making uh, the business case for a new product in that segment every day more and more difficult. Just a final quick question on the, the C-Series, the 220. Um, is that aircraft living up to expectations and how is it selling? So, uh, thank you for asking the question. We are very happy with the A220. As you know, we've started in the joint venture with uh, Bombardier uh, mid of 2018, mid of last year. And in the six months that uh, have passed since then, we are extremely uh, happy with the way the teams have uh, joined forces. Uh, the teams are working. We've delivered 20 um, A220 in the second half of 2018, which we think is a very good result. So we are ramping up. Uh, we have done the groundbreaking of the final assembly line in Mobile for the A220 in the US. Uh, that's going to support our deliveries to US customers. And as you probably know, we have booked 135 uh, A220s in the second half of 2018. So that's a very good commercial success. And we are uh, very confident that this is going to go on. This is a very good product. The airlines which are operating the 220 today are very happy. And uh, it's uh, a program in which we have a lot of trust. And it's a product which is very well placed in the range yep. of product of Airbus. So we are very confident for the future of this plane.